Hi, this is Rob Packard from Medical Device Academy. This is a short video explaining what you get when you purchase our medical device reporting procedure. That's SYS029. There are also two sister procedures, 035 for mandatory problem reporting and 036 for vigilance. Mandatory problem reporting or NPRs are specific to Canada. Vigilance is specific to European CE marking and medical device reporting is specific to the FDA. It's also the requirements for 21 CFR 803, which is the regulations for medical device reporting in the US. It's for whenever you have an injury, uh, sorry, a serious injury or death, or if the problem occurred again, it could result in a serious injury or death. And all of the medical device reporting to the FDA now must be electronic. They won't allow you to send an email. You have to create an electronic submissions gateway and submit it to the FDA on their form, or they won't even accept it. And it doesn't matter that you're running up against a deadline. So you need to set this up ahead of time before you even have something that's reported. So just because you've never had something that was reportable isn't an excuse for not setting this up. You have to set this up. So now I'm going to show you inside the procedure and the one form that comes with this. Okay, here's the procedure. It's a five-page five procedure. It's relatively simple. Um, in the beginning here, we explained that the inputs to this are customer feedback and complaint handling. Other inputs could be if you have the vigilance procedure or the NPR procedure, because if it occurs in another country, then it would also be reportable in the US if it were to occur in the US for the same product. And the outputs of this would be records going to the FDA, but you might also have a corrective action that you have to implement to keep the problem from happening again. You might have to recall or advise customers of this risk, and you might be discussing this at the management review because anytime you have any reportable events, you would have to discuss that at your management reviews. So that's the inputs of the complaint handling process and other reporting for other countries, and the outputs are manager review, recalls, and CAPA, as well as your records. The people that are going to be responsible for this procedure are typically the quality manager or management representative in the company if you have a small company. Um, you might have the person that's responsible for complaint handling also responsible for deciding whether it's reportable. And typically, if that person goes on vacation, you'll have a backup and usually that'll be their boss because you really don't want somebody that is a very low level person in the company, a clerk or an admin making these important decisions and reporting it to the FDA. If you're a small company, let's say you're 10 people and you have one quality person, the manager, and that person goes on vacation, you really want their boss taking over and knowing at least how to do this. And that also tells you the level of detail you need in this procedure. It needs to be written. So whoever is doing it that normally doesn't, but is doing it as a backup, they can follow your instructions word for word and do it. Um, this beginning of the procedure here, it tells you you need an electronic submissions gateway. And the electronic submission gateway requires three steps of authentication. Uh, this is the FDA. After you perform each step, they say, okay, you pass that step. Now we go into the next step. One of those steps is actually filling out a sample form that would be for one of your products. So if your product had a serious injury or death, this is how we would fill out the form. So you're gonna have to come up with one example, at least one example of how your product might cause a serious injury or death and um, submit that sample report to the FDA. Um, in here, we give instructions on how to fill out the MDR, um, we actually go down below here. We have table one. These are the, this is the actual table that's in the FDA uh, filing form. And we tell you each part of that form and what needs to go in that blank. Then we have monitoring and measuring. You have to track the amount of time that uh, uh, complaint files are open before the decision is made, whether it needs to be reported or not, and whether that reporting was done within the required timeline. Usually it's 30 days. If you had a recall, it would be five days. And then we also have follow-up reports when you don't have enough information, you would often report that and then follow up with a, a follow-up report once you have more information and determine yes, it requires reporting or no, it doesn't. We have training requirements. Once again, the same two people that are responsible for the procedure would be trained on the procedure. 
you have risk management. We have a risk management section to all our procedures. So we say how we address risk management related to this procedure. And then for records, we basically have two records, the MDRs, um, which would also be a complaint record because MDRs are a special subset of the complaint records that are related to serious injuries or deaths or something that could result in those and the complaint law or complaint register, list 11. Now I'm gonna take you to that. Here's our complaint register. Um, we have a lot of information that is required for a complaint record. But if you go all the way to the right over here, we have uh, some of these headings that says, if applicable. And then we have the date it was decided whether it's reportable or not. And then if it's reportable, we have additional information that should be in the record. And so we have those right in the log, these three questions. Did the device fail to meet specifications? Did the device get used for treatment or diagnosis? And what is its relationship to a, the reported incident? Did it cause it or not? Um, and then we have the date that you close the record. So in addition to your medical device reporting that you do to the FDA and the records of that, you also need this log filled in. And usually an inspector will say, can I see your procedure? Can I see your log? And then they'll sample from that log. So you need to identify in here which ones are reportable, which ones are not. And they will sample just a subset of the ones that were reported. And if there's a very small number, they might just look at all of them. So that's what you get when you purchase our procedure. You get list 11, which is the complaint register or complaint log, and the MDR procedure, which is SYS029. You also get free updates whenever we make an update. So if the FDA makes a, a new requirement for medical device reporting, we update the procedure and you get that for free. If you have any questions, please contact us and I hope this was helpful. Have a great day.